another common misstep that I think derails a lot of investors is investing without a plan or investing without a purpose. And so basically what I mean by that is if you don't have a goal in mind or if an investor doesn't have a plan or a list of things that they're trying to accomplish, the first downturn or the first bad experience in the market is going to cause a lot of mental anguish and probably cause panic and derail someone from their long-term investment plan because there's not a longer term focus. Uh, uh, some of the best outcomes that I've seen over the last couple of decades for, for clients is when there is a crafted financial plan that has timelines for achieving goals, short-term goals, intermediate-term goals, long-term goals, and a purpose. And what that does is each time that there's a, a downturn or uh, a market decline, Yes, it's painful. Yes, we don't like it, but that investor can go back through their financial plan. We can work with that with the investor client and remind them of why we're doing what we're doing. What was the purpose of this money that we had invested that's now down several percentage points or many percentage points? Was it money that we needed tomorrow? Probably not. We wouldn't have it invested. Was it money to retire in 20 years? Was it money to take a trip in 10 years? Then we look at that, and if the circumstances haven't changed, and that's still the plan, we still have time to see the investment strategy through to fruition. Doesn't mean we don't make adjustments along the way. Doesn't mean people's lives that your that investors' lives don't change from time to time, and we don't have to make adjustments. But just like anything in life, having a goal tied to an action will make it much more achievable and create a lot less panic and fear with investing.